everybody, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to show you something that I discovered. It was very frustrating to me, and I was determined to try to figure this out. And this may have happened to you as well. We all have these embossing folders, okay? And we have them from Sizzix and Cuddlebug and then Paper Studio. And what is that, Darius? Um, and they're all, for the most part, the same thicknesses. So when you go to make your sandwich on your Big Shot or whatever device you have, usually you need the big platform and the two plates that came with the machine. And I know, my plates are a mess. But you know what? I'm using them until I can't use them no more. They're warped and... They still work. They got some cracks and some cuts, as you can see, but I love my old plates. Anyhow, so that's usually what you need is your, your embossing folder, your two plates, and then your platform. And sure enough, you roll it through. Everything is good. Well, have you ever then come across plates that are just a little thicker? And no matter what sandwich you use, you cannot get it to work. You try every platform. I even had some old platforms from the original, the hand crank, uh, 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 back and forth, Spellbinders machine. And they wouldn't work. No sandwich I created would work on these two plates. Very frustrating. And I know that this company puts out their own machine. Well, I'm not buying a machine just for a couple few embossing folders that I have. When my Big Shot from Sizzix has been great all these years, I'm not going to do it. I'm not buying another machine. So I, I said, I'm going to come up with something. And if you've watched my videos, you know I have a lot of stuff. Well, let me show you what I discovered that works. A piece of vinyl flooring. It's solid on this back side, but it is just the right depth to add to my sandwich. I don't know if it's a little thicker. I haven't seen. No, it's just a little bit thinner than this plate. So that's it. So I just need my platform, one plate, the other guy's folder, and then a piece of vinyl flooring. That made my sandwich. I'm telling you this because sometimes you can go to the home improvement stores and get samples. It's a whole lot better to get a sample of flooring than it is to go buy another machine. For some thicker folders. So I've always said I'll tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And this one was an ugly with my machine that I turned into. I got this. So anyhow, that's it. Just a quick little video today. But remember, I do my best to do a video every Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. You can find me. I have a Facebook group and page. I'm not real active on them, I'll admit, but they're there. And every once in a while, I will pop some stuff up on there. And uh, it's mostly up. My group is mostly about upcycling things. Um, but I also do have a front. I cannot talk today. A private Facebook page. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. And I even have a video up on TikTok. So anyhow, I have a small Etsy shop. And I would greatly appreciate you coming by and checking me out and saying hi. And let me know what you think of my little hack. I, I was pretty impressed with myself, I'll have to say. But also, let me tell you real quick, I just thought of this. Final flooring comes in depths too. So I got the one that was the thinnest. All right. Anyhow, that's it. I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you down the road. Bye.